Uh, hey folks, uh, I have an important update for you all. If you are working on Celestron equipment, Celestron mounts, Celestron hand controllers, or uh, Celestron USB focusers or whatever. So I tried to upload a file to my uh, Celestron mount a couple of days ago, and I started getting this error message. And I was kind of wondering what's going on. So one of my colleague subscribers mentioned, why don't you go to like the team Celestron website and see if you can get uh, uh, any you know support. So I was thinking like early this morning, like, you know, what's going on with this mount? Why is not that I can't upload this file? So I went to the actually the support website and sure enough, actually I found a bunch of updates that were made in the last few months for the Celestron equipment. So I downloaded the firmware. I just wanted to share you guys the process here, how it is going to work. So uh, let me start from the beginning. So I went to the Celestron website. In the Celestron website, if you go down, there is a support button. So let me go there quickly, if I can. And if you go to the support button, And if you scroll down, you will see manuals and software. All you have to do is go there, go to the drivers and software, and try to find Celestron Firmware Manager. So CFM, uh, Celestron Firmware Manager, is the product that you need to download to your machine. Uh, if you are interested, go into that PDF file, the not the zip file, the other one, it gives you kind of a nice write-up on all the updates for all the equipment. So it's like a one zip file for all Celestron equipment. And once you download that to a folder, essentially, like you unzip that to a folder, you know, whatever the updates that they have on these, you know, different equipment, uh, that unzipped file will have an executable name called cfm.jar. It's like a Java archive file, which is nothing but like a .exe file, right? So all you have to do is uh, double click that cfm.jar file or zar file, however you call it. That will open up the application for you to connect to your equipment. So if you go and try to open up that file, here now you have the executable and this executable will try to connect to your uh, uh, mount let's say uh, if it's a vx mount you use the hand controller to connect the usb to your laptop or computer if it's cgx or cgxl i think they have a usb already on the mount all you have to do is plug in the usb from the mount to your uh, laptop that's pretty much what it is and once you are done are ready to connect your equipment click on that uh, you know the seek devices button and uh, when you connect to the seek devices button it actually shows you you know the different pieces of your mount like the ra switch the deck switch the next star hand controller the usb bridge all that stuff it just tells you what versions it is uh, it doesn't really matter all you need to do is uh, all you have to do is uh, click on that update button. Uh, it takes like a few minutes to update, probably like five minutes or so. The file contains all the updates. You don't need to be on the internet when you're installing this one. Basically, it just sends the updates to, let's say your mount for all the equipment that you need. And that's it. All you have to do is uh, wait for it to complete. Uh, by the way, when you are doing this work, of course, your mount is turned on, powered on, and then you are connecting to the mount. And once you are done updating the file, I just recycle the power, basically, and that's pretty much what it is. And uh, my update worked like a charm. I was able to upload the file that I wanted to add no more error messages. So I thought uh, this will be helpful for you all as well. I hope this video is useful, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.